okay guys in this video tutorial we will learn about how to use an anemometer within the Proteus and along with the Arduino microcontroller so for it first of all you are seeing an anemometer which we used to design we cannot say that it is perfectly a best anemometer that is possible inside the Proteus but it somehow will give you an idea and approach to use it with the Arduino for wind speed measurement. So for it, first of all, we need to take Arduino from the component library. So here our Arduino Okay, uh, press OK and place the Arduino here. Now also save this project because it is useful for us. Now we will take one virtual terminal. Actually it is a serial monitor you can say. You can see that it is mentioned RXT and TXT. So RXT must be connected to the pin 1 that is TX and TXT must be connected to the pin 0 of Arduino and here the output of an emometer must be connected to the A0 of the Arduino then we have to go for the Arduino code so that we can make a code for it you need to select a new file and here we will declare a variable and one more variable okay now we need to write serial dot begin 9600 why it is so because we are using serial communication between virtual terminal and the Arduino in wide loop you can cancel this comment and write a equal to analog read read of a0 so what's the meaning of it that we must have to read that is the Arduino must have to read analog signal on the pin number a0 to which the output of anemometer is connected then what will happen that all the data will be stored inside this A. Then we need to write B is equal to map of A comma 0 comma 10 24 comma 0 comma 255. So what's the meaning of it? That A is our signal and 0 to 255 are the levels on Y axis of the signal. That is the actually 256 uh, we can say that we have divided the amplitude into the 256 sections and on time axis we divided the time in 10,024 yeah you, you are supposed to write 1023 uh, so that's why so we, we have divided the uh, time access into the 1023 samples time samples and then we will declare a new variable that is d is equal to we will multiply 100 with that of b and then we will write serial dot print 
Kanan Be when speech is and then we will write deal dot print ln and we have to write the D here and we will attach a 500 millisecond or half second delay now we are supposed to write the what's called as the port Okay, now we will get the link of the hex file and we will push control C in order to copy it and then we will put it inside the what's called as the Arduino, you know, and now we will press okay okay now we will there is some problem in the code like uh, because yeah there is problem because it is giving us b is actually amplitude is two up to 256 so we need to Multiply it with a factor like 1.2 and then it will work better. Okay. Or you can say 1.1, so it will work more better. Then, okay, run it, compile it. No need to put the location of a hex file again and you will run it. And here the wind is 168 kilometer per hour. Then what we need to do that we need to we need to put we need to connect it with the pin number one of an emometer and then we will run it. Then it is it is showing that the wind speed is 56 kilometer per hour then we will cancel it we will connect it with okay and now okay just connect it and run it we got 112 km per hour. Actually, there are four levels of the wind speed. Then, okay, now it is increased to 168 km per hour. And with this, it is 224 km per hour. So it is a simple, that's called as the concept regarding the uh, anemometer, anemometer uh, simulation inside the Proteus. So you can like uh, uh, download this Pro Proteus file from the link given in the description. Uh, hopefully you also got the concept. Uh, thanks for watching.